Now, we also have the connection of Kennedy with the space program, obviously. It was John F. Kennedy who put us out there and committed us to landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth before the decade was out. Holy smokes. Unbelievable, right? So, at the very least, one could argue, one should argue, that the NASA program served as cover for a deeper, more clandestine space program. And it makes sense when you think about it. If you've got recovered exotic technology that can give you incredible propulsion capabilities going off-world, and if you don't want the world to know about it, but you need to have a presence in space, you need a justification for getting yourself out there in the eyes of the world. NASA fulfilled that function to the T. So the evidence is very strong now. JFK knew a great deal about the presence of others here on planet Earth. I say this because I give credence to a particular memo that's leaked, come out dealing with uh, Marilyn Monroe shortly before her death, a CIA memo that talked about Marilyn Monroe at various Hollywood parties, talking to Dorothy Kilgallen, and in her anger at being thrown overboard by the Kennedy brothers, which she had been, talking quietly about some of the pillow talks she had with JFK, including his seeing beings from outer space at a remote facility. Now, all of that was written about in an alleged CIA memo. There's actually been some very good work done on that memo that, to my satisfaction, indicates that that's authentic. I think it's real. John F. Kennedy entered politics, but he was still very close to Forrestal. Forrestal and he were still in communication. And, and Forrestal, towards the end of uh, his term as Secretary of Defense, actually he was sacked because he broke ranks. He wanted to reveal what was going on because he realized that the secrecy system uh, was going to be perpetuated indefinitely and he was strongly against that. He realized that this was something that could lead to great abuse. And so he began sharing that information with uh, any congressman that would listen. And one of the people that he shared that with was with Kennedy. And so when Kennedy became president, he wanted to get access to that information and uh, eventually assert uh, presidential control. And that's what led to the, the big confrontation with the Majestic 12 group. Now James Forrestal, he was a minority. He basically wanted to reveal what was going on. Uh, other members in the Majestic 12 group basically saw Forrestal as a loose cannon. And so Truman, on the advice of the Majestic 12 committee, sacked Forrestal as the Secretary of Defense. And basically, rather than allow Forrestal to go public with what he knew, they had Forrestal committed to the Bethesda Naval Medical uh, Facility and, and they had him confined in, on the 16th floor. During his uh, confinement at Bethesda Naval Facility, he was visited by a number of uh, Majestic 12 members. Sidney Sewers was one of them. And one that people probably aren't familiar with is Lyndon Burns Johnson, that he actually visited Forrestal because Johnson at that time in 1949 was working for the Majestic 12 committee. He was basically there to, to give Forrestal the bad news. And then shortly after that, on the very day that Forrestal's brother was, su was supposed to come in and collect James Forrestal, in May of uh, 1949, Forrestal supposedly commits suicide and, and kind of falls from the 16th floor of the Bethesda Naval uh, Facility and, and, and is dead. But there, there have been a number of people who were there at the event and, and saw what Forrestal's body and were familiar with the circumstances leading up to Forrestal's uh, death. And then they said it wasn't a, a, by any means a suicide. It was a hit job. The Majestic 12 group were behind it. So when I look at Kennedy's public attempt to go to the moon, the Apollo program that he devised. Altitude 1400 feet, still looking very good. What I see is a president who came into power knowing about aliens, knowing about UFOs, wanting to find out more, found himself blocked by the national security state, the CIA, the NSA, Majestic 12, and said, okay, you guys aren't gonna tell me what you're doing, you're not gonna tell me what you're up to, F you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create my own public space program, which is going to have a secret purpose, which is going to go to the moon and retrieve the technology that we know is there, and we're going to build our own secret space fleet. Man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. 
the exploration of space will go ahead. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In the Byrne memo, there's a sentence that's very, very chilling. It says, of course, Lancer has been inquiring about our activities, which is something we cannot allow. Lancer was JFK's Secret Service nickname. So what they're saying there basically is that JFK is trying to ask us about what our activities are, which involve aliens and UFOs, and we cannot allow this. When they say we cannot allow, that implies they're going to do something about it.